Do you know there are certain industry terms that make you an industry expert in the ATM business? Stay to the end of the video and I'm going to give you those industry terms. Hi, I'm Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page and I help hundreds of aspiring ATM business owners go from zero ATMs to ATM Business Pro in as little as 30 days. Always remember here at PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page, we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. Without further ado, the top five industry terms that make you an industry expert right away. Term number one, ISO. Phil, what's an ISO? An ISO is an independent sales organization Generally, that was a person who, just like us, it was a, not a person, but it was a company that went out and they got spot, had a sponsor bank. So they got a sponsor bank, they register with all the networks, and then they can resell their processing. So that is what an ISO is. Now, there is, they've made kind of a shift in the ATM industry over maybe the last three, four years. They've kind of gone away a little from that ISO, although for people who have ISO status, they want to hold on to that because it meant something. We had to go through a lot of due diligence, a lot of struggles to get that licensing, so to speak, and we want to keep that. But some of the industry terms that they went away, and they call now IADs, that's independent ATM deployer, okay? But that is not a registered person with the banks. That's just somebody who deploys ATMs. But an ISO is somebody who is registered with the bank and can resell processing for you guys. Point number two. SLA or site location agreement or contract or location agreement. This is basically your binding agreement between you and the business owner that says you're gonna put in an ATM into their store and these are what you're gonna do. You're gonna pay them a certain commission or you're not. You're gonna provide service for them. You're gonna be there, any challenges. And you also, it, it says that your ATM is in the store Therefore, if there's any kind of ramification, if there's a robbery or anything like that, you can go to your insurance agent and you can say, look, we have this location agreement. Here it is. I have my ATM and therefore you can get paid from your insurance company. But the SLA is a very important document that basically spells out exactly what you're going to do for a location. It also keeps you in a location as long as possible in case something, in case somebody else comes and wants to undercut how much you're going to give the location. So if you're thinking about starting your own ATM business but didn't know where to start, stay to the end of the video and I will share with you our checklist on the five things you need to start a profitable ATM business. In this checklist, I will share with you the five things you need to start a profitable ATM business so you can start a passive income source for your family. You'll have a clear roadmap towards ATM business success so you can earn between $250 and $1,500 of passive income every single month. All right, let's get back to the video. Point number three is surcharge. Now, what surcharge is, is the fee that you're going to charge your customer for them to do a transaction. Sometimes we call it a fee, but for the most part, that's what they call it. In industry terms is a surcharge. Again, it's the fee that you're going to charge the cardholder in any of the locations to use your ATM. Then you're going to make most of that surcharge, and then you're going to split some of that surcharge with your customer if you want. Point number four is interchange. Okay, Phil, I heard about interchange. I'm just hearing about interchange. Can I get any interchange? What is interchange? Interchange is the fee. So being an ISO, what we have to do is we pay Visa and MasterCard in order to be on their rails. In turn, they give us a rebate, okay? Now, Visa and MasterCard, they've been taking that rebate away by incentivizing. They're acquiring banks to, to be with them and then they pay them a rebate. But basically it's a rebate and it comes to the ISO. And then the ISO, pay some of that rebate and we share some of that rebate with the IADs. Not in every situation, but in some situations, depends on value. But when you get yourself to that level where you, now you can get some more interchange, that just is a few more pennies every month that you're gonna get for your transactions. So is it a lot of money? No, it's not a lot of money. It's just a few more extra dollars every month. But if you have a bunch of ATMs, those dollars add up. Now. Keep in mind that when you guys do receive interchange, there's things with fallback, there is other additional fees that will be associated with it, but now your ISO is incurring those fees, you will get some of the revenue, but now you will incur those fees. And point number five, merchant agent. So what that is, is the merchant is the, is the store owner. That is what we call the merchant, all right? The agent, now the agent is the IED or you guys. 
So if you guys are thinking, well, what is that? I don't understand that. Some of your ISOs, they'll ask you guys to fill out location agreements or processing agreements with them. They'll refer to you as the, the agent. Your store owner will be the merchant. But now you know in, when you guys go to fill out any of the paperwork with any of your ISOs, you guys, now you understand what the difference between a merchant and an agent is. So if you're interested in starting your own ATM business, I wanna invite you to our free checklist entitled ATM Business Passive Income Checklist. The top five things you need to start a profitable ATM business so you can start earning passive income, make more money, and spend more time with your family. If you're interested in starting this journey today, click the link down below. Again, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page, where we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. Thank you guys very much.